Hi guys, I'm Alex and welcome to Naga Masala Cooking Show and today we're going to make butter paneer. Today's a bit of a special day. Today is my baby sister's birthday. Now, this is not really the way I wanted to go about cooking this particular dish, but you know, it was last minute. She called me, she'd like me to make for her birthday butter paneer. So let's get started. Okay, you need a kilo of paneer, one pot of naga masala. It could be a mild, wild, or hot extreme, but in this case, we're doing it mild. And uh, about, about a half a dozen tomatoes, some butter, and a little bit of oil. First thing you do, while I put these tomatoes into the pot, turn on the gas, we want to boil that. And we want to take this kilo of uh, paneer and chop them into cubes. I'll be right back. Okay, so we've uh, cut paneer into cubes. As you can see, they're about so big. You can make them a little bit bigger if you like, or a little bit smaller. But that's a kilo there, done. The tomatoes are still getting boiled. What we're going to do, we're going to saute these paneer pieces. So let's get the pan. Okay, so we're going to saute these paneer. So we need a little bit of oil. Not too much, but just enough. Okay, so, uh, so now what we're going to do, we're going to now saute these paneer. So we'll pour the paneer into that. We want to lightly do it, so we don't want it the gas too fast. So that will cook slowly. The tomatoes are on the way. They're almost done. So this will take about another probably five minutes for the tomatoes, probably another about five to ten minutes for the uh, paneer. Okay, so it's been a few minutes. The paneer is becoming a little brown and we don't want to make them too brown. We just want to make them slightly brown. You can see that there, it's ha happening right, it's going golden brown. The tomatoes are basically done. So I'm going to go and strain that. We're going to move on to the next step of uh, blending. Okay, so here are the tomatoes. They're about to be blended. Now the paneer, this is almost done. You can see some of them have gone a little bit more so, but that doesn't matter. So as long as you get them all kind of brown, because this is really good, it's making it nice and soft. Normally paneer, it's quite tough. So you wanna sauteing it like this, you're kind of loosening it up. So this is almost done. I think it's be another wait, two, three minutes, I think. So we'll get onto the blending of the tomatoes. Okay, this is now ready. And we'll just put that straight into container like so okay so this pan is no longer needed and now it's blending time you take a blender like so I don't like using the other blender so I'll use this hand one and you basically blend it all Now what I have done is just add a little chili and the reason for that is because the Naga Masala mild is already quite mild, very mild and of course just to balance it out because we're actually adding an extra ingredient uh, you know it will kind of like bring it back so also if you need to you need to add just a little bit of water and then, and then you just simply blend away until it's nice and pureed. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. Like I said, we'll put that to one side. And now the fun begins. We take the pureed 
tomato that we have yeah. and we put it straight into the pan and once that's all out put the gas on medium flame and let that cook this is the reason why it's called butter paneer because the other main ingredient which you have to put in apart from double cream is butter so you're gonna need probably about that much and let's cut it and just drop it in I know that's a lot but uh, if you want to make the dish properly well you're gonna have to put in a fair amount of butter so that's out of the way okay so now that's gonna cook okay so as you can see now the butter is melting and the tomato is beginning to bubble up you just want to add a pinch of salt not too much okay so that is now almost done and what you want to do for the next I would say about about 10 minutes you just want to keep cooking this until you know un until you know until it's you know you can see this all the you know all the butter's uh, the sorry the butter is melted and it's bubbling and that's when we add the naga masala to the pan and I think that this pan may not be big enough but you know we're gonna we're gonna make this work so uh, just bear with me we'll give it another then about another five minutes before we get the masala okay so it's been about five minutes you can see now the butter is melted it's nice and bubbly now we add the naga masala so we take the pot break off the seal and just pour it in this has come out of the freezer so it's a little still a little needs a bit of thawing but and what we do now is basically cook this just mix it all up now you will want to at some point just taste it that's mainly for you know if you want to add maybe a little bit more salt or if you want to add let's say you know a little bit more chili what we want to do now is bring this to the boil before we add the cream and this will take uh, I'd say another 5, 10, 15 minutes maybe. Okay, so this has been cooking for about 10 plus minutes now. And this is where now we add the cream. Now after adding the cream, you're still going to have to cook this for another 10 to 15 minutes on medium flame or low flame uh, until, you know, it's nice and creamy and it's ready before you add the paneer. So let's add the cream. that will be enough and what should happen you'll see a change in color and as you can see whoops something spill over there like I said this pan is a little small I should have got a bigger one but uh, like I said we'll make it work so what we're gonna do now is just cook this for another 10 to 15 minutes and then the paneer for it, the paneer will be ready Alrighty then, so this has been cooking for about 10, about 15 minutes. And as you can see now, you know, it's it's beautifully mixed. You've got this nice saffron color coming through. Okay, and this is what you want. Okay, now what I would have done, and I have done it because this pan is a little small, I would have used that grinder again to grind it even more, make it even more smooth. And you can always do that, that's just optional, but I'll do that in another video. As you can see, it's working beautifully here. Let's just have a quick taste. Just to check everything's okay with the salt. Oh yeah, that's what, that's it. That's hit the spot. So now we add the paneer. So I slowly drop them in. That'd be perfect. Let's get it all in there slowly. Now on low flame, you're going to want to cook this for at least another 15 minutes, maybe even more. On low flame, of course. And that's pretty much it. We have our guests coming around in about uh, a few hours from now. And, uh, you know, this will, this will be perfectly ready for them. And of course, uh, they will give you their verdict. Okay, this is cooking beautifully. I mean, just look at the colors. This beautiful saffron color is exactly what we want. This is going to cook, like I said, for another 15, 20 minutes on low flame. You're gonna get some beautiful results. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is butter paneer. And we just have to wait for the guests. 
So I'll um, see you on the other side. Okay, so it's now time for tasting. Before we, before the birthday party actually starts, I got my friend David to do the tasting for the first time. Okay, so come on, David. Tell right. the camera. Let's give this a give this a try. Oh, looks lovely. It smells very nice. Hmm. That's fantastic. Yeah, it's really good. Very spicy. Um, of course, needs my favorite dish. Great texture. Yeah, well done. You can invite me anytime. Right, I'm going in for another bite, this time with a chapati. Um, oh, this is going to be fantastic. Let's try that a little bit of that. Mmm. Mmm, marvelous. Thank you. That's just amazing. The taste, the spices, the balance. Oh, look, it's got my name on it. Amazing. Amazing. Too good. Why? Because they